Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing Ragnar Lothbrok 1 from Volnhub. Um, I rate this box about a solid uh, easy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so to get started, we can actually just open my terminal here. Um, let me spit the, or split these real quick. Alright, so I'm going to start at netdiscord minus r, 10.0.1, 24. And this is going to find the IP address of the box. So 10.0.0.136. So I'm going to do an mmap scan minus sc minus uh, sv. We'll scan all ports on that. Um, so next, um, let's check out if there's a server on here. Uh, it does seem like there's a server on here. So um, we can run a go buster on here. Right? So we're on go buster, bare mode minus u, http. 10.0.0. Um, I think I have live pages here. This w user share wordless group buster uh, directory those 2.3 medium.txe and we do know that it this is running a wordpress so uh, we can visit the wordpress site all right so um this is powered by wordpress so we can easily just start by enuming the users um, this is 403, so we can access that um, for the secret. Um, let me just copy this under there, um, and we do see a word list here, right? All right, uh, I usually like doing control U just in case there's any all code. All right, so uh, this does seem like it's a word list. So from here, uh, we do have WordPress and we also have a secret. Um, from here, I'm actually just gonna run a go buster against WordList. So, um, or WordPress. And then from here, I'm gonna do minus X for extensions and we can do PHP and we'll also um, specify TXE, right? And it does show that we have a WordPress login.php. Um, so we can just copy that under the WordPress. And we do have a username and password, right? Um, fields, so we can start by enuming. So I like going to uh, WPS or WP scan. Um, so I can go under my documents, WPS scan or w, WP scan LS. Let me just clear this, all right? So, so what we wanna do is actually enum the users. So we can go um, and run this right here. Let me just cancel this. And for the URL, um, actually, so I'm gonna actually gonna cut out a slash etc hosts. Uh, you do see that it was ARM born. Uh, if you did check on Volnhub, it did tell us to specify this under the etc host. And then we want to do slash um, WordPress, and we want to take it off. We want to take off this PHP right here and just specify a word list, right? Or WordPress. Um, so we can press enter, and this is gonna enum the users for us. And uh, we do have one username here, uh, Ragnar. So we can just add that to our leaf pad. Um, as our user. So um, just one thing to note anytime or every time I try to run a um, run a brute force attack on a certain user, um, I, I usually get an error using WPS scan or WP scan. So what I did was actually just search, up, went on Google and searched up a separate tool, right? So the tool I downloaded was called um, WP brute force. Uh, we can just do Python xm.py um, so here we're going to specify our target so our target was this right here and we actually want to change this actually so let me go back to my um, slash etc host uh, we want to put this and replace the IP address right here so now we can just copy this. 
Um, actually, let me just run Python again. Um, was that XM? Yeah. Okay, so we can run Python XM and we want to do minus T for the IP address or for the website. We're going to do minus U for the U for the user. Actually, just cut out user.txt or um, I think I can just specify it, but yeah, we can just specify it. So the target username was um, this right here, and then we can do specify minus W, which was a password.txt. Um, we can press enter, um, and this is going to start brute forcing on the username and field, right? Here, let me uh, run, let me actually take this off right here. And we can just let the brute force run, right? Um, it seems like it can't be found. Actually, I didn't even, um, here, let me actually remove our password.txt and we can, uh, wget this, our secret, right? I was using the wrong word list, so we can just wget that. And we can just cut out a uh, secret to, um, we'll cut out to secret.txt. Um, so we can just do um, secret.txt. And this is gonna start uh, brute forcing, right? And we're gonna be using this word list right here. Um, so we can just wait for this to brute force. All right, so now that's done brute forcing. Uh, we do actually did get a password after uh, about 4,000 attempts. Uh, we do see that the password is called uh, Ubi. Um, so now we can just go under um, the username and type in Ragnar and then type in the password. We can press login. And once we're under here, I usually, I usually like going to install plugins. Um, we can actually go to add new upload plugin uh, we can go to browse um, and then from here I actually wanted to start my FTP username or my FTP server on my local host but um, when I did do this it didn't work so um, the next thing I like doing is actually going to let's go to dashboard if we go to appearance and go to theme editor uh, we want to edit the header.php and from here, we can actually add a 
we can actually add PHP code that will allow us to run uh, code execution, right? So if you actually want to do that, we can just type in um, between here. You can just do echo, and from here we're going to type in system. Um, uh, was or the money sign. Um, and we can type in request, and then from there, we, or we want to type in proxy, because um, that's what we're going to specify in the username or on the URL bar. And then we want to close it in, right? So from here, we can actually edit the. We can update the file, and now we can um, head to. WordPress and then from here we can actually just do WordPress and then question mark proxy equals um, LS and you do see that we have a uh, code execution right so from here I'm actually gonna go to burp sweep um, intercept the request and change it to a post so we can uh, click start uh, let me turn on this on right here and go to edit specify address okay uh, we want to turn foxy proxy on um, so we just specify the address uh, we can press enter we're gonna want to send this to uh, we'll send this to repeater From here, we actually want to highlight the proxy equals ls, and we want to change the, the request method. It's going to change it to a post, right? So now if we press send, um, you do see that we have code execution right here. So um, I'm, going to go to, I'm, I'm going to go to test monkey. Um, let's see if we can, it's not pentest monkey, but it's the same thing. Uh, I'm going to be using this. So if we want this to work, we actually need to start up a listener and then we need a URL encode this, right? So uh, for this to work, I'm just going to split this. I'm going to do all rad netcat minus lmvp and then I'll listen on port 5555. We can press enter. Um, let's go back to burp. So we're going to put my IP address in here, and then we also want to put the port. And then we actually want to highlight the reverse shell. And we want to, you can do, you can go to URL, or you can go to um, right here, and then URL encode. And you can uh, encode all that, but what I like doing is just highlighting it and then pressing Control U. And this is going to send our connection, right? It's going to actually URL encode it and send it to us, right? Send a reverse shell. So we can send. And you do see that we get a shell. So now we can export a term. It goes X term. Uh, we can clear that. And then we will spawn a uh, TTY shell. Um, so we can do, um, we can do which, um, uh, which Python, and we do have Python 3, so we can run this in Python 3, and now we are under uh, daemon OS boxes, right? So um, when I was trying to do this box, I usually went to, um, I usually like catting out the WP config. Um, so we can just cat uh, WP config and we can grab out the pass. Um, so I did get this right here, but um, there was no passwords under here. Um, I also did go to, Um, what was it? Also did go over here. Um, 
I went under ETC, but the password was now under here, and I just checked all this, right? Um, there, there was really no point of doing that. So uh, the next thing I actually like doing, um, I like running sudo minus l, but we don't have a password, right? So if we just go back to our um, word list right here, um, we can just change this to um, secret. Um, if you just scroll all the way down, um, I did a little bit of brute forcing, and I found out this. I found out that this was the password, right? Um, just which one? Which was this right here, right? So now we can just uh, if we go back to your home. We can Alice. Um, we can't see DNC Ragnar, so uh, it belongs to Ragnar. So we can just switch users to Ragnar. Um, Ragnar, press enter, and we are Ragnar at OS boxes. The next, I, the next thing I did was actually run linpeace, and I found a uh, bash file, so we can do alice-la, we'll grab out the bash, and I did go under here, I cut out the file right there, and I did find a md5 hash, or a base64. So I just echo this out on the screen. So echo base uh, 64 minus D. And we did get um, wikipedia.kevin or wiki Kevin Mitnick. So I did. So the thing I did was just switch users to root. I just did a little bit of brute forcing myself and just type in Kevin Mitnick. Unless I spelled it right, so Kevin M I T N I C K, and now we're root. So uh, we can now let's cat into hello, and there is our root flag. So let me just um, run this again, and there is our root flag. Um, right here just says I'm very happy, and that's it. Overall, a uh, pretty fun box. Yeah, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.